My question is about um, kind of trying too hard to feel good and, and patterns um, along oh, with that. Oh, now this is interesting. We're just going to interrupt you briefly. Okay. So all day today, we've been helping you to diffuse other manifestations to make the only thing that matters how you feel. And now you want to talk about the struggle. <laughs> well, no. Well, no, my, my issue is, is not trying to find happiness outside myself. Yes. It's that um, I'm really good at, at working on being, ha or being happy, but then it kind of resets um, maybe every day or maybe every other day. Or there will be periods where I feel incredible and amazing and I know I'm in the vortex. And then there are times like now where um, I can't, I can't conceptually think of what it was like to be in the vortex. It's almost like my, my brain is isn't that, swiped clean. Isn't that interesting? Because even though you see it happen with people who are in the chair, someone will sit down with an issue and they're all knotted up. And then after we talk for, talk for a little while, they can't even remember why they asked the question because they're so... So what you're describing is whatever frequency you got going on, whatever pattern is emanating from you most recently, really does equal your point of attraction. And you just don't have access to thoughts that are different from that very mm -hmm. much, do you? Yeah. So the, the solution is, and, and it's fairly recently that we've been speaking it, just try to get general in your conversation about not being where you want to be. And there's something really diffusing about the generality that lets it shift. Want to talk about something specific? Um, yes. Uh, I've picked up a pattern recently around people. Um, I don't know why I used to be really outgoing and really out there and something happened in the last two or three years and I keep creating the same story. Great example, I, I just came back from a um, three-month backpacking trip and it was a great experience because I'd go to a different hostel and meet a completely different group of people, but I was creating the same events over and over again. They were following you from place to place. <laughs> exactly. And the worst part is now is that I know that I'm creating it and I can't... Well, that's the best part. <laughs> I, I know it's the best because, part. Because if you know you're doing it, then you have control about it. Yes. So it's far better to know that you created it rather than some god who's mad at you. Yeah, well, no, I, I know that I know it now, but now... Now my work is working on it, and it's really difficult. All right, so give us some specifics. Um, so I have this story that um, people's first impressions of me are, are that they don't like me, and I don't know why. Um, I think they're off put by me for some reason. and. Uh, and then when I leave the situation, I, I can kind of put myself in a better place, talk about how you know, great I can be and that I'm a great person. And then when I get, throw, get thrown right back into a situation, it's like my energy's drained. And um, Here's something that's really interesting. And it's something that most people are unaware of. But, but you ought to be aware of it because we've talked about things like it for a long while. So... Just, we're just going to create this basis of understanding and then everything's just going to click into place for you. Most of this you could speak clearly to us, but there's a missing piece for you that you're about to feel break okay. loose. So, we all know about law of attraction and, and you get it, that wherever you've got your radio, radio dial set, that's what's going to come back to you. So, if you've got it in your head, for whatever reason, probably from validation from other people, that they're not really receptive to you. As you notice that they're not, then they're not, and as they're not, you notice that they're not, and then they're not, and then you notice that they're not, and then they're not. So it's like you, you create the scenario, different mm -hmm. places, different faces, but the same sort of experience keeps occurring. So law of attraction is the basis of all things. We've established that. And what you're feeling and what you're thinking is what you keep getting more of. And so you want to figure out how to break that cycle. So because law of attraction only gives you things that are in the vicinity of where you are, it's logical that once you've decided, as, as you spoke rather clearly, that people are sort of off put by you or put off by you, then those are the people that you most have access to. So let's just 
say that people are running around and they're on all different vibrational wavelengths. And we're going to make a really powerful statement here that we've not made before, but it really um, is amplified by this conversation that we're having. Everyone... Find the perfect words. Where you are vibrationally is so where you are, vibrationally, is so where you are that your most satisfying communication is with other people that are right there where you are. So let's say that law of attraction could really mess up and that you could be in this high-flying, really good vibrational vortexual place and you could end up at one of those hostels with someone who's really in a... Now, law of attraction can't give you that, but let's say it did. So, or, or let's say that it's something even, even close to that. So you're here and they're here. What's happening is, at unconscious levels, they are doing everything in their power in their quest to communicate, to get you to come to where they are. Because there's no communication, there's no experience. And so, without meaning to, they, they would like you to be there, but it's happening even on unconscious levels. And if you're not really caring about how you feel, you'll go there easily. And when you go there, it's not their disapproval of you that you're feeling. It's your lack of resonance with who you really are that you're feeling. Did you get that? Oh. People have been saying things for a while like, well, they're just trying to bring you down to, to their level. Well, they are. They are. They don't mean it, but they're just trying to... That's what... So they see someone like you. You look as if everything in the... You, your appearance is one, and we're not just talking about the beauty of who you are physically. We're talking about your vibrational appearance. You have knowledge. You have, you have eagerness. You have a, a desire to fulfill your life experience. You are radiating. We, we saw you back there from the moment that the, the gathering began, and we're just waiting for, for the resistance to be at its softest ebb before we bring you forward. In other words, you are unmistakable. You are radiating, and you are a pain in the whatever to people who aren't there who want to be there. In other words, what bothers them about you is that you live what they want to live, and they don't know what to do about it. So they offer a vibration. They offer the vibration of where they are, and and at unconscious levels, really are wanting you to join them there. And because you are compliant with that, when you join them there, then it's your disconnection is too strong a word, but it's the putting the light over the bushel over the light of who you are that makes you feel that discomfort. It's not their approval or disapproval of them that you have ever been seeking. It's your own alignment. So the question that we're hearing from you is, Abraham, how can I consistently, because you say you're often there and you are, how can I consistently feel all that I am and be all that I am because I want, and this is what you want, this is the question that we heard from you regardless of the words that you spoke. I want to travel for three months with my backpack and I want to be so tuned into source that everywhere I rendezvous, I'm the one that brings them up. Yeah. I want to bring them up rather than them bring me down. And, and be stable. And the way you do it is first by understanding the way these laws work. Next by understanding that you have two vibrational vantage points, which you do. Next by understanding that the way you feel is your indicator of how you're doing. And next by just having enough exposure to enough people that eventually, and, not, I mean, and it happens frequently anyway, you feel yourself as the one who uplifted rather than as someone who was, who was diminished by someone else's more dominant vibration. Those are incorrect words because there, there is not a more dominant vibration, there's a matching vibration. In other words, they couldn't bring you down if you didn't have a proclivity to go there. And the reason that you have a proclivity to go there is just out of habit of going there. Yeah. And, but as what's happening. You see, you've done that all your life. Everyone has. It's just never bothered you like it bothers you now because you've tasted the sweetness of the other. In other words, your standards are now higher. You're not willing to go there. Oh, and then there's other stuff. They talk drivel. 
They talk about unimportant things. They, they're just going on and on about things that are so not important. In other words, there's so many more meaningful things that you could be talking about than the things that most people are talking about because they're not knowing what you're knowing. So when you relax and acknowledge that they're all where they are and it's perfect where they are and they're living the life that they're living and you are in complete rapturous adoration of whatever it is that they are living because it's all contributing to what you're putting into your vortex, then it all gets soft and you find yourself just loving them all even if they're not loving you. And oh, that, that's where freedom really breaks loose for you, freedom of resistance, which is the only freedom that there ever is, is freedom from resistance. When you're able to love someone who isn't loving you, then they must come to your level if there is to be an interaction. Mm they must come to your level if there is to be an interaction which means if you're steadily here they can't show up at the same hostel with you because one who's connected to this stream one who's in this vibrational place is more powerful than millions who are not you say and you know every bit of that that's what's yes. been <laughs> bugging you about this you know that yeah i've been coming uh, to your work for a while and I've been seeped in it. I remember my parents got me the, one of the Sarah books when I was like 12. So now my big issue is that I know all of this and now I'm kind of stuck. Or I was stuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it feels, it, feels, it feels stuck in any moment that you're not being who you are except you have the knowledge to know that there's no such thing as stuck. That's why you corrected your statement so easily yeah. and now don't you feel completely different than you felt when you first <laughs> talking I mean the understanding it doesn't it make doesn't it help so so now if you were just coming to the chair now and you were wanting to have this conversation how would it sound now I like being who I am and often I am and I want to be who I really am more often and I want to attract people that or on my same and vibrational wave. And how would I know that I'm not being, how would I know the sweetness of being who I am if I never had a moment of not being who I am? Mm. How and would I know? How could I discern? And so isn't it all good? Yes, and I realize that. And, and why do I want to attract people on my wavelength? Now this, we want to talk about this. Why do you want to attract people on your wavelength? We're going to answer it for you. Because it's evidence of my alignment, which is what I really want. Let's get that in the proper perspective because some might say, I want to attract people on my wavelength because it feels better when it happens, but I want to attract people on my wavelength because I want to be on my wavelength. That's why. It's my wavelength that is the operative word here, not the attraction of others that confirm it and compound it and enhance it and affirm it. I want to be on my wavelength because nothing else is satisfactory to me. Nothing else is tolerable to me. I don't want to be in a moment out here on the leading edge without my inner being there. I want to be tuned into who I am so that when they show up at the party, they're tuned into who they are because that's the party I want to go to. Right? Yes. Really good. Really, really good.